Hello everyone. Let's continue our exercise with the pointers. And in the previous example, I have shown you the simple use case of the pointers where we learned how to print the um, values and the address using a pointer. So in this tutorial, in this uh, new exercise, I'll just continue with the previous one and I'll show you that how we can change the value of any variable in this case variable a and we can change this value using the pointer which we have used previously so let's just write asterisk p is equal to let's say 8 now if I want to print this value I'll just copy Let us print it, run and see. Okay, as you can see, the value of A is now 8 and the value of A using point B is also 8. So here we have used the new value and we have printed it. Now if I want to if I want to use the same pointer to point into some other another value, another variable, so we can just simply write int let's say c equal to maybe 10. Okay. And then we'll write asterisk p is equal to ampersand c. In fact, now you see there is an error. So the value of type int asterisk cannot be assigned to an entity of type int. It is saying like this. In the previous one we have seen, I have written it like this, okay? But since here I have initialized the pointer, I have written it like this. You don't have to write this asterisk again and again we will simply remove it and just write the address of c inside the pointer b okay so let let us try to print this value i'll copy paste the output and in place of a i'll write c and here too and then again c and I'll print it the same way as I printed for A. I'll put one more indel here so that we can make some distance between the two outputs, the previous one and the new one. So let's run it. Now you see the value of C is 10, which is according to this, and the value of C using the pointer B is 10. It means the pointer is now starting to point in the variable C. So you have seen how to use the pointers, how it can point to different variables, and how we can change the values of any variable where the pointer is pointing. I hope we understand. In the next tutorial, I'll show you the pointer to the pointer variable.